there's a lot of excitement in the forestry world about the potential for applying microscopic nematodes onto trees by drone to fight diseases. However, there's one big question that needed to be answered. Do the nematodes actually survive the spraying process, in particular the CDA spinning disc applicators? So we went to the experts at Harper Adams University to run some tests. We mixed up a batch of 500 million nematodes and filled the drone's tank. We took a control sample straight from the tank to confirm we had viable nematodes in the solution. Then we ran some nematode solution through the drone's peristaltic pumps without the CDA spinners to gauge the impact of the pump on their viability. Then we ran the nematodes through the drone, this time with the CDA spinners rotating at their slowest speed of 1500 RPM. And finally, we turned the CDA spinners up to 2,500 RPM to give us a smaller, more controlled droplet size. Lovely, so here are test samples ready for the lab. Okay, so uh, we've, we've come to the lab after doing some work in engineering. So we have put uh, some ends of the pathogenic nematodes through a drone. What we really want to know is if the drone uh, affects the viability of the nematodes. So this is our first sample, Rob. Um, this has not gone through the, dr through the drone. Um, this is just showing that we've got viable nematodes that have come straight out of the packet. So Rob, this is our second sample. Um, it's been through the drone, but just running the peristaltic pump. And again, we see 100% viability of the nematodes under the microscope. So Rob, this sample's gone through, it's our third sample. It's been through the peristaltic pump, but obviously with this time we've put the CDA spinners on, um, running at 1500 RPM. Um, and like the first two samples, we don't see any significant difference in the viability or the activity of the nematodes under the microscope. So this is a sample of nematodes. They've gone through the peristaltic pump. They've gone, at a, gone through the CDA spinners um, at a higher RPM to 2,500 RPM to be exact. Um, smaller droplet size, possibly may have expected to see some damaged nematodes, reduced viability, but we're not seeing that. Um, and again, that's positive because again, we're not seeing the, the, there's a, an impact of the CDA spinners on the actual nematode viability. And of course, what you'll get at a higher RPM is smaller droplets, so you'll get better dispersal over your target area. We were all expecting the CDA spinning disc applicators to have a much greater impact on the nematode's viability than was actually the case. Under the microscope in the lab, it was clear that there was little or no negative impact, even at the higher RPMs. Now we can start to roll out the drone application of nematodes across the whole forestry sector with real confidence.